So uh, today I wanted to show you guys how I curl my hair. Um, I do it like the laziest way possible. It's fine. So all you need is, um, well, you need a heat protectant. I don't have any at the house, so I used some Paul Mitchell Super Skinny. It's a serum, but I mean, it's better than nothing. And then I like to use these uh, like alligator clips. And then the curling iron I'm using today is the Hot Tools. Um, it's an inch and a fourth, and I usually keep it, it's like set between 330 and 380. Alright, <clears throat> I do it like super lazy, I just pretty much part my hair, and I put all of this up, and then I take my section back here. This hair doesn't usually stay up, so I have to like bring it for it sometimes. I like to take a brush, brush the hair, and then I take my curling iron. The clamp is going to be facing your face. Take it, slide it down, turn it once, slide it, turn it, and then I don't usually put the ends in. I used to, and lately I've been liking the look of leaving them out. And I hold it for a couple seconds and then I drop the curl. And then I take the next section and I take sections about the width of the curling iron and I like to curl the first two I do in the same direction away from the face so I take it curl it hold it drop and then I come over here I split this into two and then the same, the curling iron facing towards your face. Take it, clamp it. I usually do this in my bathroom. I don't have like any room to set up my camera stuff in there, so I'm just not in there. My camera is a little in the way, so it's kind of hard for me to see. But underneath my hair gets tangly, so just take like a brush and like I wouldn't curl your hair if there's tangles in it because it's just gonna lock the tangles in so make sure your sections are nice and brushed through and smooth and then again taking that hair all right and most people would do like three sections with as much hair as I have but I don't want my short layers up here to be like curly so all I do is I take my bangs and like if you have a middle part you can curl it with the middle but I take my bangs clip them out of the way and then I take this whole section as one I know that's like really lazy but my short layers aren't running out and I just don't want a bunch of curly short layers up there so I just take like a big section for my top section and I do the same thing as the bottom. And then a lot of people start back here and move the hair back here, but my hair is just not long enough to do that. This is, I feel like my hair is considered like medium length, but um, cause like on long hair, they start back there and then they throw the hair back there and uh, we just, have that luxury. There's about like how much left out. And then I find, I mean it's pretty easy to find like the sections you haven't curled yet. I find the section, brush it, and then split it. And I take the next section and I try to lay it where I can easily grab it next. And like what I mean by like having the curling iron facing this way, I'm doing them all facing the same direction. So when I'm done, it's gonna have like more of like that bombshell wave, which is what I personally like. And then we're gonna come over here. And this 
same thing. I would normally take sections this big on like a client, but I do this on my own here because I just think it works. Laying short layers that you're trying to grow out because when you're done, it makes the hair look longer because you don't have the shortness up here. like all that needs to be curled. And before I do like the bangs, I usually like to take my hair and swing it around and I can see if I've missed any pieces like this. This isn't curled. So I'll grab this piece. Right, so last I do the bangs. So I like to take these and split them in sections like this. And I'll do this piece first. When I take the curling iron and put it here and slide it, that's so I don't get any like band marks. And the bangs I do curl the ends in with just because they're so much shorter. And like, I mean, if you don't have bangs, you could just curl the rest of your hair like the rest of it. And then I like to take it and while it's still warm, kind of lay it over and let it cool like that. And then I take another section of bang. And after they cool some, I'll take my fingers and kind of like rake through the curls. other side just kind of take your fingers and brush through then the bangs kind of like the same and where they were laid over to cool they'll lay like that when they when you rake through them yeah <clears throat> my camera decided to stop filming so I don't know where that ended but yeah here's how I curl my hair And I like it more loose and wavy and like throughout the day I'll take a wide tooth comb or a brush or something and get any tingles out because it tingles underneath when I move my head and everything. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's how I curl my hair. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.